Alright, hey everybody and welcome back to another one number YouTube video walking through how to do Tableau things. Uh, for today's video what I want to do is walk through one of the tricks that I use with summary tiles that would allow you to do things like month over month or year over year comparisons um, easily. Um, we've gotten a lot of great feedback on our uh, first summary tiles video, so thanks for those of you that followed along for that. I'll make sure to link that uh, for those of you that want to dive into maybe just big picture, why summary tiles, how to build them, and then you want to come to this maybe more advanced follow-up video about some advanced features that you can use. So what you can see here is I've got the summary tiles. I'm just going to kind of mark my screen up here. Um, I didn't clean up my tooltip as much as I should have, so in the real world, do better than me. Um, but you can see I'm doing things here like saying, okay, sales is down 34% month over month. Um, it's eight thousand dollars this month, and it was you know I could do a calculation. Oh, uh, you know, must have been eleven thousand dollars last month, or you know whatever that would be. Okay, so how do you put something like this together? How do you get the arrows, the percentages, all of that? We're going to look at how table calculations can help us accomplish that. So I'm going to go to a blank worksheet, and I'm going to start like this. Let's just try and recreate that sales tile. So I'm going to put sales on text in the marks card. And then I'm going to put my month year of order date on the rows shelf. So I'm going to right click and drag order date to rows and choose the MY or month year date unit. Okay, so um, what I want to be doing is comparing, you know, 8,000 to probably not 45,000 um, because today is August 8th as I'm shooting this video. So I want this to compare, you know, August 8th to July 8th. So let's just start with that. I'm going to create a calculated field that says day has to be less than or equal to, um, I should say this, uh, day of month is less than or equal to today. Hopefully that's clear enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the day of order, da uh, order date, there we go, is less than or equal to the day of today. And if you haven't used this day function a lot, it just returns uh, what day of the month it is, 1 through 31. So I'll put my day of month on filters and say true. Okay, and so now I can see that at this point in July, we were at $12,000 in sales as compared to this point in August, we're at about 8,000. Okay, so now next thing I'm gonna do is I only wanna keep the last two of these months for comparison purposes. So I'm gonna create a calculation that I'll just call um, last two only. And I'll just say last is less than or equal to one. Um, and you might be saying, what the heck is this? Last, I've never heard of this. So last is a table calculation function that you can use in Tableau to define, I mean, it's like any table calculation. You can say it's the last going down or across or down then across or you know, whatever, however you wanna set it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay. And I'm just to check this out, maybe I will put this also on text so you can see what it looks like. So you can see it says false, 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 false. These are not the last two. False, 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 false. And then boom, right at the end, July and August, true. So I'm gonna put last two only on filters and just keep those true values. Okay. So now I want to label those last two. So like, is it the last or is it the second to last? So I'm gonna create a calculated field and then I could do something like, you know, last two label. And I'll say uh, if last equals zero to the very end, uh, then last. Else if last equals one, so second to last, uh, then second to last. Okay. And what is it not like? Let's see. Oh, I already created that. Okay. Let's just put an asterisk next to it. What the heck? Okay. So last two labeled. It's going to go on the row shelf. And now you see it will say last and second to last. And so you're probably wondering, like, what are we doing, right? Like, why are we going through all these hoops to be able to create these last and second to last? And what's the point of this? Well, um, table calculations can help us a lot to be able to say things like, what is the percent difference between the current value and the previous value? 
And actually that's not gonna, that's gonna drive the percent difference. It's also gonna drive the arrows that I showed you as well. So um, I'm gonna go to the sum of sales that's on the uh, text right now, hit the drop down, and I'll do a quick table calculation for percent difference. So you can see, okay, 34% drop. Let me just do a little number formatting to preserve my own sanity and have a little more space. Okay. And then I want to see the original sales value again. Put that on text. And then I also want to see the arrow. So how does that work? Well, what I'll usually do is just like Google <laughs> up triangle symbol, down triangle symbol, things like that. Uh, to avoid kind of going through that and doing some of the copying and pasting, I'm just going to use the carrots on uh, my keyboard. So I'm going to create a calculated field. And actually, here's, I'm, going to do, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to take my sales percent difference, drop this into my uh, data pane, and I'll just call this sales uh, percent difference calc. Okay. So all that that did is it just kind of formalized that table calculation we created, which is finding the percent difference from one value to the other. If you're dying to see that, you know, we can pull that up. So it says, give me my sum of sales, subtract my lookup sum of sales minus one. So look up one point in the past. So like take August, subtract July, and then divide that by the absolute value of the one value in the past. So August minus July divided by July. Where are we at? Okay, so now I'm gonna create a calculated field, which I'll call this like sales arrow. And I will say if the sales percent difference is greater than zero, then give me an up arrow, okay? Else if sales percent difference is less than zero, then I'm gonna use, use the letter V Probably not my best, but it'll work. Then give me the down arrow, else give me a side facing arrow. So again, what I like to do usually is like grab triangles from Google. Just, if you just Google up triangle symbol, down triangle symbol, look a little bit better. So I'll hit okay, and I'm gonna put sales arrow on text. Okay. And you can see already how it's kind of sinking. So when it's 9%, it's up. When it's negative 34%, it's down. So now just a few things that we need to do to kind of clean this up so it looked like it does on the uh, dashboard I showed you at the beginning. Um, first, let's go to text in the marks card and kind of move some of these pieces around and make them look good. So we'll start with the arrow. Um, let's see, we'll do this. Let's go ahead and center everything. Make sure there's no trailing spaces. Let's make the arrow a little bit bigger. And let's bold the percentage. And then let's just put the actual sales value in parentheses. And we'll see how this looks. Eh, it's not bad. I don't know. There's, there's certainly a lot of room for improvement. Um, I, what I usually do is kind of play around with sizing and just see, like, you know, what do I think looks good? Do I want the percent to show up bigger? You know, maybe something like that. And then, so kind of a few final things I'm going to do here. I'm going to go into text one more time. Just remembered something. And I'm gonna put uh, sales, as sort of a, a title for this section here. And then I need to do some kind of formatting and hiding and things like that. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the second to last label, this is super important. And I'm gonna say hide. So this data, is, it's gonna be hidden, but it's still gonna be there for the purposes of being able to calculate if values have gone up or down or stayed the same. Now I'm gonna make sure that both headers for both last two labeled and month year of order date are not showing. And now again, it's just a matter of doing some formatting. So I'll set this to entire view, I'm gonna right click and format, set my alignment to center so that everything's not all off to the side like that. I think I used some different colors in the example that I showed you. Maybe I used like blue or something, so. You know, I end up looking like that. And then the last thing, which I, I won't do just now, but if I wanted to, I could clean up the tool tip. And maybe one thing I will show you is if I just want to see the sales value from the previous month, like it's 8,000, it's down 34% what was last month's sales. 
um, I'm just gonna take a piece out of our sales percent difference calc. And this is gonna be the look at look up ZM sum of sales minus one. I'm gonna call this sales uh, previous month. And what did not like there? Probably just missing a closing parenthesis or something. Maybe I have an extra parenthesis. One second here. One, two, three. Good. Okay, there we go. So I'll put sales previous month on tooltip. And again, I would clean this up more, uh, but now I can see the sales from the previous month is 12,000, whereas sales from this month is 8,000. So that's a bit of a rundown on how I could set up um, summary tiles that are allowing you to reference values from a previous period to do things like calculate a percent difference or an arrow um, for just an indicator of where things are headed. And sometimes I just find this easier because what you might have to do otherwise is hard code every piece of the way. This month's sales, last month's sales, difference, arrows, all that. Like this might save you a few steps. So thanks for following along. I uh, hope you find this helpful and it's something that you can implement in your own summary tiles. And uh, look forward to catching you on another video soon.